we will make pancakes. Oh, you're so cute. So it's almost 10 a.m. and we're still in bed, obviously. Last week, filming was kind of brutal. If you didn't see, I released an almost two-hour video. Um, and yeah, I'm pretty beat. And not only that, I have gotten severely behind on plant chores. So today, I'm just going to like take you along with me and just kind of show you some of the stuff I have to do. And it's going to be really chill. And yeah, we're going to take it easy this week. What do you think? Should we go to the plant room now? Do you want to take them there? Let's go. Oh, my lanta. Okay, we've got a little bit of cleaning to do. It's not that bad, to be honest. It was worse over the weekend, and I sort of tidied things up so that I could, like, walk. <laughs> but the first order of business is going to be getting this cleaned up so that I can actually have a place to work. And then I have some repotting to do. I bought a few new plants. Not a ton, but a few smaller plants and then one big plant. So I need to, like, treat those for pests and then get that repotted. And I've got a booby cactus here that I'm going to attempt to propagate because it's super tall. I need to do like regular plant maintenance stuff. I don't even remember the last time that I like watered these plants and yeah, it's just, it's been a week, you know? So I guess, I guess I'm going to clean. Before I start cleaning, what I'm going to do first is wash down this new Heteracium Var Oxycardium, aka Hartley Philodendron. I just picked this up and it's for a new Wally Grow container, which is this guy. And you can see I picked up a few new cutie plants that I'll show you in a bit. But yeah, I'm gonna get this one prepped first, which means just rinsing down the leaves just to like get off any pests and then treating it with like a insecticidal soap. And then I'll let it dry off um, while I'm cleaning my, my plant room.
Okay, so as you saw from that reel, I am using an IKEA salad spinner that I never use for salad to sift out my old soil. And this soil has been accumulating over the last few months. And you can see that I'm just picking out the LECA that I'll reuse and I'm picking out the amendments as well that will go into my new soil batch. And all of that old soil is just gonna go out on the balcony and I'm gonna use it for a succulent garden that I think I'm going to try to build this spring. But if I didn't have that project to work on, I probably would be using this old soil with my new soil and it would be used for all of my plants indoors. And I've done this in the past where I just used like a whole batch of old soil and I mixed it with a smaller amount of just really rich, dense soil, typically some type of sea soil. Um, you'll notice that kind of soil is really black and dark and it's just, yeah, it's a lot different than just your regular indoor potting soil. So if you want my opinion on reusing old soil, I say go for it. Um, I wouldn't recommend just using it as is just because there's not really many nutrients in there anymore and it's just it's a bit stale um, so definitely try and mix it in with something that's a little bit newer when you keep reusing the same batch of soil over and over and over again it eventually will become hydrophobic meaning the soil isn't going to absorb water anymore um, that's if it's like it's too old and it's become too compact and usually this happens if you use it too many times especially if it dries out completely and then also your soil can become hydrophobic if there's too much peat moss inside of um, that mixture so just keep that in mind you want to always make sure that you know when you're repotting plants you're still using a good amount of like new soil and if you're worried about being wasteful or just feeling bad about throwing away old soil if you have a backyard or something or you have containerized plants you can totally just chuck it in there on that note though i should mention if you're using any kind of systemic in the soil like bonide systemic granules please don't use this outside because that can actually be a threat to bee populations which is why systemic is not allowed in canada um, i think it just depends on the kind of systemic that you're using but i've heard that some like residual systemic can last for months to up to a year or more so just be mindful of that as well if you are going to be throwing your soil outside and when I posted this on Instagram, I got quite a few people that were saying like, oh, this is such a good idea, but I don't have the time or there's no way that I'm patient enough to just sit there and pick it out. Um, but honestly, I think it comes down to having a good system and also your mentality, of course. So the bin that I have is not a really, really tall bin. It, you can't really see it from this angle, but the bin that I have to accumulate old soil is actually very shallow. So that's kind of my max. Once it hits the top of that, I have to like tell myself, okay, it's time to do it. Um, anything bigger and I think that I would feel overwhelmed. So there's that. And then also I just use this as an opportunity to get away from my phone, get away from social media, and I just catch up on shows and, you know, catch up on movies and it's kind of therapeutic.
The next thing on my to-do list today is to plant these cute little sedums that I got uh, the other day. And I've been wanting to do sort of like a little succulent arrangement for the balcony, but I don't know. I just, I don't have that much motivation to like get it really nice to be honest because I live right by the river and there's a ton of spiders on the balcony and they just, they terrify me. So I picked this up at um, a thrift store. <gasps> oh my gosh. Look what I've done. It's so cute. I'm gonna propagate you. Sorry, guy. Sorry, dude. Okay, um, so I picked this up at a thrift store on Friday. And I, I actually bought this for like a small crawler, like a small Gloriosum or something, or maybe my mame. But when I saw these guys, I was like, yeah, this makes more sense. So I'm just gonna get these potted up. And um, how I'm gonna do that, I'm so sad. I can't believe I did that. Look how cute it is. It looks like a little cabbage. I've got Lekka here and I'm going to just add Lekka down at the bottom since there are no drainage, drainage holes. Whenever I pick up um, Lekka, like with my bare hands, with no gloves on, all I hear is my friend Pearl just like cringing because of it scratching your nails. But you know what? This is the life that I live. <laughs> okay, so I've got a little bit of Lekka down at the bottom. Such an awkward angle. Let me sort of fix it a little bit. Okay, I think that's a, I think that's a little bit better or it could be worse. I'm not sure. Um, so... I've got my soil, and usually with my succulents, I like to use like a succulent cacti soil mix, which has like, it's like very sandy and um, like light and well draining, but I didn't want to get a bag. So I'm just using my aeroid soil, and I added a lot more perlite so that um, it's not as dense in terms of like the actual soil. And I'm gonna keep it in a sunny window so I'm not like worried about rot or things like that. Hmm. It's been a while since I planted succulents. Succulents was like one of the first kind of um, plant that I was into. I feel like most people in the hobby started with succulents. So here I have a blue carpet, a blue carpet sedum and I can't get over how teeny tiny and cute these are. I wonder how many times I'm gonna say cute in the next like five minutes. And then these ones are, what are you? I thought this was a blue carpet sedum. Okay, well, I don't know. It's some kind of sedum and it's, it's a little bit bigger than this one. Um, well, this one says sedum, Dasphila major. I don't know. Ceda major. I don't know. You know what? Let's just let's just not worry about that. <laughs> this one says sedum thick leaf stone crop, and this one's got sort of like a pinkish hue to it. Okay. I don't know. I don't really know how I want to arrange these. I don't know why I feel so nervous. Um, okay. It's just yeah. It's been a while since I since I messed with succulents. And this soil is super, super dense. I don't know if I wanna mix that with my soil. Let me go get a bowl. Okay, I'm gonna mix it into here. Oh my gosh, there's little... Okay, so one, oh my gosh. <laughs> one thing I do not miss about planting succulents is just like, Look at all of those little like pellets that are falling. Um, yeah, I just always get so nervous when all these little leaves fall off. It's so sad. And I'm just gonna loosen it. And I'm really congested today. My allergies are super bad. So if I sound extra nasally, that's why. And also it's Monday today. 
um, yeah, I didn't have that many days in between filming, so my voice is still somewhat gone. Wow, I'm actually very surprised at how dense this soil is. There's like almost no amendments in it. Interesting, interesting, interesting. It's growing really well though, so I mean, clearly it loves it. I think what I'm gonna do is chuck this soil into one of my outdoor planters where I already have like a few succulents and I'll just see if any of these leaves propagate naturally and start growing in there. Cause this oil is actually really good still. I'm just like not a fan of how dense it is. But anyway, okay. So that's about how much I'm gonna massage out. I don't wanna mess with it too much. And I kind of want this guy to like hang over the edge. And it's going to look a bit sparse at first, but hopefully these guys grow somewhat quick. No, 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 no. I'm just going to tuck it in, pretend that didn't happen. And then maybe I'll take one of, hmm, you'll take, I don't, know, I don't know, let's just do it, let's just fucking do it. Oh, I hate those little plugs that they put on plants. I'm gonna leave it though, I'm not gonna mess with it. So freaking cute. Oh. Ugh, just makes me so mad at how cute it is. I think I'm gonna shove these two guys together. Mm, no, maybe I'll, maybe I'll mix it. Okay, and this little dude So teeny tiny. Put you over here. Like maybe I should have gotten more, but you know, you know, whatever. I'm trying so hard to not sniff right now, even though I feel the urge. I'm just gonna fill it in and we're going to let mother nature do the rest. And we're in the beginning of spring. So I feel like in my south facing window, the sky will grow. Pretty fast, I hope. If not, it's gonna look it's gonna look really weird for a while. I just didn't want to like overdo it and like have it outgrow it really fast. Like I I do want to see how it sort of fills in on its own. Um, trying not to get soil on top. I should have grabbed my little scooper thing, but somehow walking. 10 steps to my plant room just seems too far in the present moment. Ew. Okay, I'm gonna sniff and edit it out. Oh, okay, much better. I used to only get allergies in the like fall and winter, which is kind of weird, but now it's like, Get it in the spring. Just so cliche. I mean, not my best work, but you know what? It's been a while since I potted a succulent and I forgot how difficult it can be sometimes because they're just so like tiny and um, delicate. This looks so weird. Okay, maybe I should have grabbed like one more, but we're here and I'm not going back to the nursery. So I'm just gonna have to deal with it. And hopefully this guy kind of trails over the edge, but what ifs? 
So the only thing that I need to do is go to the store. I'm not, not today, no way. Um, I need to go to the store and get like some decorative sand because I want to just like sprinkle it over and um, make it cute. But anyway, check, did that. And now I'm just gonna go place it in my window and watch it grow. I did get two other succulents. This one is a silver jelly bean succulent and <laughs> I'm not gonna say the C word, but it's very you know what. And I I just wanna pop it. Oh my gosh, I almost said it again. Um, and then I got this one, which is, who are you? Succulent collection, that does not help me. I don't know, it's something, and it's really, it's really, really cool. It didn't say the other C word. But yeah, I just like love the color of this, and I just like, I'm trying to get a little bit more color into the apartment rather than just having it be all green. And I have pondered the idea of doing like a full like cacti succulent shelf. So I don't know, that might be another spring project in the works. But I'm just going to pot these up. I think I want to put... Hmm. Hmm. I think I want to do Jelly Guy in this white planter. And this one has like a little baby growing from it. Right... Ah! I don't want to break the root. Hold on one second. Ah! <laughs> Could. Stop it. <laughs> Why has it been so long since I've like had succulents? I forgot how happy they make me. Okay. Stop it right now. It's so cute. Okay. Ah, I said it. You know what? Screw it. I'm just gonna say it. Um, okay, gonna loosen this guy up. Hopefully this one fits in this white planter because it's quite shallow. And this root system is a little bit bigger than I anticipated. Cool, okay, so I feel like it's gonna be happy in here for a little bit. I, I think that it's gonna outgrow this pot um, pretty fast, but I'm gonna push it for as long as I can. So here's a little jelly bean guy. I'm just, oh, I love it. And for this one, I'm not super like, in love with this just like random concrete pot for it. But I, I, I don't really see anything else that I could pot him in. Give me one second. Okay, here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna take this little succulent guy out and I'm gonna put him in there since I feel like that kind of makes more sense. I should go give this a rinse, but not today. Sometimes I'll just add like the current soil to a brand new batch of um, soil unless it has a ton of like rotten roots in it or like old roots and I can see this one's got a ton of that. So I'm going to take it out. Abort, abort, abort. Man, it's got one of those plugs again. Does it? No, it doesn't. Wait. It probably does, but I don't want to dig that far. 
I don't know if you guys know what I'm talking about. Those little like um, starter plugs that they use to start plants. It's like just like this mesh that they put over the like root ball or whatever. Oh I hate those things. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna clean this because this is a really, really pretty succulent and this is like so dingy and gross and I need to put some respect on her. All right, it's clean. I wish you guys could see Pudge behind me. He is so adorable. <sighs> he does this thing sometimes where he like tucks his paws under his chin, like both of them under his chin and he's just like fully sprawled out and then he falls asleep like that and it's just, slays me every time. I kind of wish that I bought two of these to put in here, but these leaves can be propagated, so maybe I'll just like pluck a leaf off and stick it back in the soil and see what nature gives me. Cute. Oh, I'm so tired. I said I was gonna take today off, but then I was laying in bed and I, uh, yeah, got a little antsy, so. Here we are, oh my gosh, they're so, look at them together, best friends. Now this one, oh, this soil is, look how like old this soil is. It's so like dry and gross. I don't remember the last time that I changed this soil. I feel like it wasn't that long ago, but maybe it has been. Oh, I'm sorry, guy, you poor thing. Okay, what I'm gonna do now is attempt to propagate my Murtillo cactus geometrizins Fukuru Kuri Uzin Boku. This is also called a booby cactus. So the reason I wanna do that is because it's quite long, as you can see, um, it's quite phallic. And I just like, like them when they're really, really small and short, and I just feel like it would be cuter in the pot if it was smaller. So I'm gonna cut it and I'm gonna cut it and then I'm gonna let it callus for maybe two weeks. And yeah, hopefully I can get it to root or else I'm gonna be really, really sad. Man, these roots kind of grew pretty insanely um, since I got it. Okay, man, it's dusty. Before I cut it, I'm going to be mixing sulfur powder with rooting hormone. And this is going to help sort of like keep out any like bacterial spores or whatever that can cause the fresh cut to rot. And this has been really successful for me in propagating my euphorbia cuttings. Okay. Here goes nothing. I think what I'm gonna do, because it starts to bend right around here, I think I'm gonna cut it right here so that I can plant it straight. Oh my gosh, I'm so scared. Oh my gosh, I'm so scared. Maybe I'll do it a little taller. Wait, do I? Okay. Okay, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Okay, I feel like I'm cutting my bangs. You're okay, sweetie. Oh, interesting. Kind of looks like, um, what is that called? Bitter melon? And I'm just going to dip it right away. Wow, I can't believe I did it. Look at me go. Please root or I will be very, very sad. And then I'm going to just leave this on a bed of soil and kind of let it callus for a week or two until it's really, really, really hardened off. And then I'm just gonna stick it straight back into soil. So, wish me luck. Oh, 
a new leaf. Wow. Okay. First plant I pulled out is a philodendron gigas. I'm feeling a little bit nervous about this because this is not my plant. This is my sister's and it's been, oh yeah. I tried a new thing. I was like, you know what? I'm gonna just stick it straight in moss. I'm not gonna do water propagation, but nope, don't like it. I'm sticking this baby in water because like, look how shriveled the leaves are. And it's just like so soft and floppy. Tiff, if you're watching this, I'm very sorry. I promise I will save your child. It's not the worst smelling fertilizer, but it's not great. <laughs> this is four liters and they recommend two milliliters per liter, but I didn't fill it up all the way. So I'm gonna be doing six milliliters of liquid gold leaf. Oh, <laughs> she see me trying. Um, where's the cap? Oh, here. The lighting in here is not great, but um, yeah, we've got some new growth on the Majestic. Water levels look good. Roots look good, and I'm gonna fertilize. This is that Plowmanii that I dissected with you guys last week. And it's only been a few days. It's literally Monday today, so I'm not seeing any roots yet, but I'm gonna keep an eye on it. It's looking really good. And honestly, I'm just like checking for, I'm primarily checking for thrips. It's, it's, it's really the only bug that kind of freaks me out. Not that I'm like grossed out by it, but meaning like, it's the only pest that I truly feel threatened by. Um, the rest of them, I just, I feel like it's easy peasy.
So here I have my Pappy Hybrid and this thing has been growing so well since I got it and the roots look amazing. It really, really loved the transfer from moss into soil. But unfortunately, it's just getting too big and I do kind of see an opportunity to cut it. I think that there are like, there's a very small space on the stem that I can make a cut. And I'm just, yeah, I'm, I'm gonna say a little prayer, but I'm gonna risk it. I'm gonna risk it for the biscuit because I do wanna keep this in my EXO, but I can't have this like massive plant in there. So I have to cut it. Um, so yeah, I guess let's go cut. We're back with the big heteracium of our oxycardium and the leaves are dry now. It's been pretty much drying all day. And now I'm just going to get it into my new Wally Grow planter. If you have never planted in a Wally Grow, um, just know that it's gonna look kind of crazy when you first get it in there. Like it's just, it's gonna look like a hot mess and it, it just takes a few weeks for like all the leaves to kind of like fill in and there's a bobby pin. <laughs> Our nursery is using bobby pins now to hold them in. What's going on here? So yeah, it just, it takes a while for it to kind of fill in and face all the right direction. Yeah, it's just gonna be pretty ugly when you first put it in. I'm gonna get it out of here. 
and I am just hoping that this thing isn't super root bound. I can sort of, it's kind of soft. So I'm feeling hopeful that it's not crazy root bound. Actually, whoa, 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 whoa. I should do it like this. not too bad. I've had way worse in these um, eight inch pots. Oh, actually the bottom's kind of, no, dang it. Still not, not like awful, but yeah, this needed a repot a while ago. These roots don't look awesome. So if you've never seen a Wally grow, it comes with this little wall um, attachment and then it just slides on. Ah! It slides on in the back. And then you can just like kind of take it on and off the wall to water. And this is the color charcoal and I've had my eye on this color for a while. And then it's got a little reservoir back here with holes in it and you just pour the water in there and then it, yeah, yeah, you get it. What I do though is I add LECA down at the bottom since it has um, wicking properties and that way when you're watering down here, the water is not just kind of like sitting down at the bottom, it's being pulled up into the soil and ever since I did that with my micans, it's so much happier in the Wally Grow. So, okay, let's get it in. Well, let's not get it in like that. I mean, like, let's, whatever. You know what? Just forget it. And I've got about this much down at the bottom. Not a whole lot. So it needs to be untangled severely. Really, really glad I got that done. It's looking wild in here. Um, so this is where I was sitting. You can see the little butt space. Um, so now that I feel like I've kind of checked on everybody that I need to check on, I do have some things I need to do still. Um, like with these guys, I need to pot them up and rehab some. Um, I'm gonna just get everything back in and finish watering and then I gotta move into this EXO and it's already like 5.30 so I really wanted to try and get all of this done today which I probably could have if I didn't have to film but you know that's just life now I guess.
Pudge hates our intro song. Watch him.